Hi, and welcome to the Naval Tick Tinker. Uh, I haven't been working on my son's um, jet boat for maybe one and a half month. It's kind of nice outside still, as you can see, but it's cold. It's getting like 12 degrees Celsius. Anyways, let's get started where we started. So I bought this model for a jet pump that I 3D printed. This is just a housing. And the main issue I want to go away from is to make a big hole in the boat because you don't want to have holes in boats. And if anything, I've seen people use these when they built like jet boards or jet boats. I don't think I've seen anybody use these actually for jet boats. Is that since you cut a big hole in the boat, both below where it takes in water, but also from the back to get this mount in, you have kind of this issue where you, yeah, you get leaks, a lot of leaks. And these are tricky, even if you put a ton on epoxy to get really, really, um, I mean, tight for, um, so the water doesn't come into the boat. So my idea was something totally different. So it was this one. So I designed an outboard um, like this, you can see. So you have mounts back here so that they can be connected to the boat. And it's also shaped like the boat in the, in the back, I guess. And then in the front here comes a few things you attach. And the idea inside was to have the motor in the center. You would have the holes here for the cables and the motor controller here. I mean, adjusting how much power you actually run through the motor. And then the idea was to have over here in this compartment, the servo that had a hole here. So you can have a swing arm. So you can, I mean, so you can swing. I mean, you can turn around because this original model doesn't have that. It's more for like jet boards. And then I had created a TPU seal here. So you can have kind of a 3D printed TPU. So it's more like a rubber gasket. Uh, come on, it doesn't want to play with me with one hand. Anyways, yeah, you kind of see this, how it's designed. Uh, there we go. There we go. So the idea was to have this top here and you just push it there and you have these inserts that you can just screw it and get it watertight. The problem here I have is that since there's a hole here and you want to have a swing arm from a servo inside, this is really tricky to get waterproof. I mean, the nice thing here is that since everything is in one piece, I mean, there is no leaks. There is no things to go. I mean, there's no holes. It's just one big box. Um, but there are a few issues I need to address. One is I don't want the motor controller and the servo to be down here anymore. I want it to be placed kind of like up here on the top of the boat. So that, I mean, it will get sprinkling water on it, but it won't go underwater. Um, and for, to do that, there's a few things I learned here. I printed this in two, two pieces. So you can kind of see how I used screws and they can come out a little bit, but yeah, yeah. It's like first prototype. Um, what I, I want to make it wider out. And then I want to have a water intake against the flow of water that kind of pushes up water to kind of cool up here the motor controller and then just fly out. And that means that the only thing underwater will be this motor. And you might think like, oh, you can't have this underwater. What happens if water comes in? Actually, BLDC motors work really well with water. So, but of course, I'm not going to have, I'm not planning on getting water in. But it's not like the motor controller or the servo. They would... Yeah, they, they would be trashed if they had water on them. They would definitely break. But this wouldn't. So even if I have a leakage, it would probably just still run fine. Of course, you might get like um, rust inside, but I mean, it'd still work. Uh, and you could probably dry it out. So that is my plan. Now I'm gonna take this big box and make it much smaller, just to have the motor. And then I'm gonna also make so I can kind of push water upwards so down here, I'm going to have like in this direction so the water can flow up. And then I'll just probably have like something like this, but not closing and open to just have water flow up to the motor controller. I don't really know if I'll have a pump uh, to pull to pull the water up. I don't think it's actually going to be needed because it, uh, maybe I will because the, this boat is, I mean, this is specifically designed not to go, to go fast. And why? Because my son is seven years old. But that was the update for today and so my plan for the next video I will be releasing will hopefully be that when I have another 3D printed model of this outboard jet. That is kind of a unique design. I haven't seen anything like this. So 
we're going away with having these things out. They're hard to print and it's, you can see, hard to print here too. Uh, ABS wants to warp, as you can see, it warped. But yeah, I think it's going to be cool design and lighter also. So you can come and have a handle up here on top of this and call it your jet. It's not my design, this one, but yeah, but this kind of outboard design is mine. So this is the Mr. Jet water pump. I want to give credit to him for designing this. I have also built something a little bit different here, as you can see, maybe. Um, over here, I'm actually going to put a TPU gasket against this so that it will be water and I mean, nothing will flow in here. So I'm putting both TPU inside here and TPU here, and hopefully that will keep it very tight. But let's get designing. I need to raise this up. I need to narrow this in. So I only have an outboard motor in the water. No controller, no servo. And then from the box up here, I have to come a swing arm. And I actually got this idea today from my son. <laughs> so this is the Lego that he's doing. So if I put a swing arm down here, as you can see, you get the same movement down there. So if you would just use a, a stick, uh, you could kind of design something similarly. But this is kind of neat, actually, that you can have the servo against this one. And even though it's like 30, 40 centimeters up, you will have exactly the same kind of swing down there. And then you can adjust it to for the kind of the thing that moves here that I've just redesigned to also connect to one of the parts here to, to make it swing the jet. Okay, and it's another day. And I have printed a new one out. Uh, we designed it, made it much smaller as you can see, and now we only have the motor down here. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks neat. It follows the line of the boat. Uh, I extended those so that it's easier to put water in here to cool the motor. And it will be like a jacket around this I bought. It's, uh... Then I have redesigned a little bit and I made this a little bit modular. Uh, the reason I'm sitting in here is that my son is watching TV outside and I don't want that to disturb you watching the video. So I haven't decided how I'm going to steer this, but I decided to work more modular on this like I do when I work with software. Uh, because I know I'm going to need something to kind of move this thing around here to put the jet uh, thrust to different directions. But I don't know how, so I just now put this one in here so I can connect something. Let's see if I do watertight servo or if I do some kind of, I don't know, wire solution to push something back and forth here. It needs to be pretty big. Like if you, act, you can't just have a little bit. It actually, actually has to push a lot to the side. Um, I also really like what I did here. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard because it's black. But since I'm going to have hopefully a, another box up here or here, I haven't really decided yet. Um, I'm gonna have a water intake here and as you can see it's kind of neatly just follows here goes up so it's against the water flow so that when you drive forward water is pushed in here and then up so that eases the pressure on the pump I think I'm gonna have a pump uh, to the motor controller I don't think this is gonna be enough maybe if I put it down up here I don't know but I really like this working kind of step by step by step maybe I put an equal size box here just so a little bit bigger box up here. Let's push it upwards. I just don't want the motor controller and the servo to be on the water. That's the key thing. So yeah, I wanted to show you the, the design, how it looked like. This came out really nice in ABS. So this is like 12, $13 maybe worth of ABS. I think it looks real neat. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching the Naval Tick Tinkerer and my project building my son's water jet outboard right now. But this is a part of the bigger project where I've built a carbon fiber, glass fiber, wood, whatever boat for my son. Cheers!